Richard, uh, I'm taking a wild guess here, but this is the engine, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. we've obviously removed it from the, mo right. from the engine bay. And what we're gonna do is we have to make a few changes to the motor because we're going to be adding so much more power. We're gonna be doubling or tripling the power output depending on how high we run the boost. So we need to make a few changes, internal modifications, camshafts, things like that. So we've got some pieces over here I'd like you to take a look at. Okay, great. First thing we did is um, we took a look at the motor to see what we needed to change. We disassembled it, took all the necessary measurements, and figured out that one of the changes we needed to do was take the factory connecting rod, which is a, a really good piece and will withstand a lot of RPM. But since we're going to be running a turbo motor and maybe as much as 20 pounds of boost, we had custom rods made um, specifically for this motor. They should work out real good. We've had a lot of good luck with them in the past. They always work, never break. The next thing we did to work with the rods is we took a look at the factory pistons. You can see the factory Suzuki pistons real nice. It's got uh, coated skirts, valve reliefs for the pistons. It's a flat top design with a small dish. What we did was took this, took their design, made a forging out of it. Same valve reliefs because we're running a little bit more camshaft. Changed the ring package a little bit. The skirt design basically made the thing nearly bulletproof for our turbo motor. So we'll be able to run a lot of boosts and not have any problem. That came from the guys at JE there. The final thing we did was we took the factory cylinder head, which was actually fabulous to begin with. Um, this was one of the few heads that we've ever taken to our head porter, and they told us we really don't know if we can do anything with it because it's really good to begin with. They did a little bit of work. Uh, we did a little bit of a valve job, did a little bit of blending, but basically the factory head's really good to begin with. Once we combine all of these components, put them together with the new head, the new pistons, and the new rods, we'll have a bulletproof motor, add the turbo, stick it in the car, and we're ready to go.